Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. Today we're diving into how to optimize your YOLO Box ISO recordings. ISO recording, in essence, is a clean, isolated recording from a single camera that is utilized in a multi camera production. By leveraging a switcher with multiple inputs and ISO recording software, the production value of your podcast videos can be enhanced and editing capabilities can be amplified post recording. When compared to traditional recording, ISO recording shines with several advantages. It allows for the customization of your program in post-production, providing additional content that can be repurposed and repackaged. During a live video recording, ISO recording enables camera switching, serving as a backup in case of camera failure. Whether you are a professional filmmaker or a casual content creator, ISO recording opens up new possibilities for your creative endeavors. Before starting, it's crucial to understand one thing. YOLOBOX is a fantastic live streaming tool, but if you're not connected to the internet, you can still use it for recording. There's two different ways you can record. You can record either in monitor mode or in streaming mode. You can record and stream at the same time. And a lot of people don't realize that when choosing the streaming mode. This method allows you to capture live moments directly, saving time by eliminating the need to separately record content later. It's perfect for live events, webinars, and interviews where you want both immediate engagement and a recorded version for later use. You can also only record in the monitor mode. Without the additional bandwidth demands of live streaming, YOLOBOX can allocate more resources to recording, potentially enhancing the video quality. This is particularly useful for creating high-quality content that requires post-production editing, like documentaries or detailed tutorials. Now let's dive deeper into the technical aspects of setting up your YOLO Box Ultra ISO recordings. Understanding the range of resolution settings, frame rates, and other configurable options will help you maximize the quality of your recordings. Let's enter the live event and find the ISO recording. You can see that YOLO Box Ultra supports a variety of resolutions for recording 720p, 1080p, 2K, and 4K. This range allows you to choose the best resolution based on your project's requirements. Selecting the recording resolution is very simple. You just need to click on the options to switch. Note that the resolution options on the left are for live streaming, not for recording. Moving on, you can also choose the recording source, whether it's from the program, HDMI, USB webcam, NDI, or SRT video sources. You can record from any of these. Here's something important to note. Ultra's ISO recording also has performance limitations. This brings us to the overall performance limits of the Ultra. The Ultra's encoding performance maxes out at 1080p 220fps. Streaming, recording, replay, and NDI output all consume encoding performance. Remember, 1 MAV 4K is equivalent to 4 BAU 8 p Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that if you're live streaming in 4K at 30fps, it's essentially like streaming at 1080p 120fps in terms of the system's encoding load. This means you will only have 100fps left for recording video. If you're using the 1080p 30fps, you can still choose up to three channels. If you want to do 4K recording while streaming, adjust your recording settings to 4K 24fps, but this only supports one channel. Next, frame rate options. It typically ranges from 20 FPS to 60 FPS, like 24 FPS, 25 FPS, 30 FPS, 48 FPS, 50 FPS, 60 FPS. Higher frame rates are perfect for action packed content, making motion smoother and more visually appealing. Bitrate affects the quality and size of your video files. A higher bitrate improves video quality but uses more storage space. YOLO Box allows you to adjust this depending on your storage capabilities and network conditions if you're also streaming. If you choose to record in 1080p, then your maximum bitrate can only go up to 13,000 kbps. If it's 4K, it can go up to 3,000 kbps.
Yolobox Ultra supports H.265 compression. So what's the difference between H.264 and H.265? Well, H.265, also known as High Efficiency Video Coding, HEVC, surpasses H.264 in terms of compression capabilities, enabling efficient video encoding while maintaining high quality. It allows for 33 directions of motion compared to H.264's 9. H.265 requires less bandwidth than H.264, making it perfect for streaming high-resolution videos over limited bandwidth networks. Additionally, H.265 video files occupy less storage space, providing an edge in file saving and distribution. Now let's select H.265 in the recording settings to enable this feature, ensuring your editing software is compatible with this codec. Recording limits allow you to set intervals at which your video is recorded and saved automatically. This is designed to prevent any unexpected issues during recording that might lead to the loss of the entire video. We generally recommend setting intervals between 10-20 minutes for recording, but if you find post-editing too cumbersome, you can also choose to record continuously. Under Storage Settings, you can choose whether to save recordings to the SD card or SSD. SSDs are recommended for higher resolutions like 4K due to their faster write speeds and reliability. There's another point everyone needs to be aware of. Choosing higher bit rates and frame rates for recording will result in larger file sizes, so you need to be mindful of some inherent limitations of the Ultra. If you're using an SD card to store your recorded files, be careful not to record for too long in FAT32 format, as this format supports a maximum of only 3.5 GB per video file. If you're recording in 4K, you might exceed 3.5 GB in just 15 to 20 minutes. For such cases, avoid using FAT32 format for continuous recording. Instead, you can choose NTFS or XFAT formats, which allow for continuous recording without file size limits. Another crucial thing to keep in mind while recording is to wait for the recording to finish. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got this thing set up and hit the record button so you can see I've got this thing recording. The recording light inside here. Now I'm going to press record to stop it. A prompt asks, do you want to stop the recording? I'll confirm by selecting done, but don't remove your card yet. Be patient and wait for it. And now the recording has been saved successfully. I see some people who are very anxious to get that recording somewhere else and start editing it immediately, or they need to swap cards, or they need to hand off the video. And what they do is they hit stop. They think they're done when they take the card out. The problem is that the device needs to finalize that file and save it as an MP4 video file. Understanding these settings is crucial to leveraging the full potential of your YOLO Box Ultra for ISO recordings. Experiment with different settings in various environments to find what best suits your content and broadcasting needs. Each setting has its strengths and can greatly affect the outcome of your recordings. Thanks for tuning in to this detailed exploration of YOLO Box Ultra ISO recording settings. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactbaayololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 186 13735 if you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 137 358 12589. Keep experimenting with these settings to find your perfect setup and happy recording.